game. You all leave there feeling a little bit of a mixed bag. You made some good plays, got them off the field on third down. But those big plays, you don't get to take them away either. How do you all leave um, feeling that way? Well, uh, you know, we knew uh, going back and looking at it, if we eliminate those plays, about 220 yards of passing, and they all counted for touchdowns. Um, you take those away, I mean, it's a pretty good, pretty good day defensively. Um, we know we're, we're just a step away. Um, you take away those three plays, I mean, we look pretty sharp. So uh, just uh, we're going to go back and eliminate big plays and uh, be ready for Maryland. Darren, was it a case where they tried to negate the front seven by having him get the ball out as quickly as he could, and, and then it turned into 11 on four at that point? I mean, just talk about uh, what, what they were able to do, and did they really take full advantage of that? Um, well, the quarterback had a really quick release, and we saw that. And um, he was really taking our pass rush out of the picture, and they were taking short routes. Um, so the short routes, uh, you, they were able to nickel and dime us, and then um, they hit the big plays. Um, I really think you know, we were able to eliminate those big plays and giving them a lot of time in the pocket. Um, we would have had a much more successful night. It would have been a completely different ball game. How do you do that, eliminate the big plays? Uh, well, partially uh, communication. Uh, two of those touchdowns were communication issues. Uh, we had our boundary side who had, uh, had a call in for one of their plays, and we didn't get over to the field side, um, which would have helped out uh, Eli and helped out Vaughn um, if we would have had a full communication. So if we would have had that, I mean, you take away two of those touchdowns. What's the logistical process of getting a call from the field side to the boundary or vice versa? Oh, I mean, seeing the play, I mean, I mean it's so loud in our stadium. Uh, it's really hard. We're not going to be able to just say it from across the field. We had right. to give hand signals, and we didn't do that. And so we took that upon ourselves as players. Like, we have to over communicate from here on out to uh, avoid big plays. Is that the middle linebacker's responsibility? Or who? Oh, it's everybody's responsibility. Okay. <coughs> Everybody except the D, the D line. What do you think you guys are in for at Maryland? It's their first ever Big Ten home game. They're coming off a big win over Indiana, who just beat Missouri. Sounds like they're a quality team, and just what do you guys expect to be walking into there on Saturday? Oh, I mean, it's the first time we're playing Maryland. Um, they're going to be uh, wound up and because uh, they get to play Ohio State. But, um, you know, we know they have some playmakers on there. They put a lot of points up on Indiana last week. Um, so we really have to be on our toes and eliminate big plays and execute our game plan. What stands out about their offense? I mean, a little bit you've seen them, a little bit you've heard of. Stephon Diggs, obviously, is a name all you guys know about. Yeah. What stands out about him? I mean, from what I've heard, he's a, he's a playmaker. Um, I'm getting ready to go in and watch some more film on him right now. Yeah. But um, from all I've heard is that Stephon Diggs he just makes plays, um, not just for their offense, but I mean for special teams too. So uh, we're going to have to be on our game for this. Darren, you, you know JT. He's part of your recruiting class and everything. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys are talking about that. You, you talk about how loud it gets yeah. in your stadium. I mean, I'm sure it's going to be loud. Their fans are going to be screaming at you guys. Um, Coach Meyer was just talking about like, when he's making play calls up the line, he's got to be loud and authoritative and stuff like that. What do you think you guys can, How can JT get louder? Like, you guys know JT. Is it, is yeah. it in his personality to be like yelling uh, and like, uh, how well, can, what can JT Bear do to be loud? Uh, for JT, I mean, honestly, I don't know. I mean, that's on the offensive side of the ball. But you know, um, I mean, is, is it his personality? Oh, his personality. I mean, like he'll take. Yeah, I mean, he'll take control when he needs to. I mean, JT isn't like just an over. Like he's not too much of a loud guy. But I mean, I mean, if he when he needs to get the job done when it comes to winning a game, I mean, I think he'll do what he needs to do and what's necessary. So, um, like I said, that's on the offensive side of the ball. But uh, I mean, I feel he's fully capable of doing that. When you guys are in your nickel package right now, you're basically like a, a stand-up defensive end. Are you not? That's our third down look. Yeah. Um, our nickel, I would come out of the game, and Armani Reeves would come in the game. But mainly for our third down, I'd be as a rush in. Um, that's just to help get pressure on the quarterback, and sometimes I'd drop back uh, in coverage also. What are you? Why are you? A good fit for that? Why are you? Are you in that role? Do you, do you um, like I guess, that? Yeah, I, mean, I love it. I mean, I guess. Uh, I mean, third down is money down for us, and I guess our coaches feel comfortable with me because I'm, I guess I'm versatile and be able to pass rush and also drop back in coverage. Yeah, so. two more questions. To help affect a pass like you did on a third down the other night and stuff, well, uh, does that just add fuel to your fire? What does that do for a player from a confidence standpoint? Uh, I mean, you get really excited. We all get really excited on third down. Um, mainly I'm on the side with Joey, yeah. uh, and that's that's, right. that's fun as it is because <laughs> it's Joey Bosa. But, um, I mean, it's fun to really get, I mean, to go get pressure on the quarterback and try to get a sack. Um, 
because if not, I mean, the quarterback might force a bad throw and we get an interception, and then that's, uh, that's all we want as a defense. Can you tell offense is paying attention to Joey Bosa now? Oh, I mean, and how does that manifest I itself? I would honestly hope they would. Yeah. Um, I think they'd be foolish not to. Um, Joey Bosa is a great, uh, great athlete, uh, great defensive line, a great defensive end, um, and he's a great teammate. And um, if you don't account for him, it's going to be in for a long night. Can you literally see him though summon maybe a little extra every now and then? I mean, can you tell that? I mean, especially I guess when you watch video, but maybe even on the field. And, oh, I you mean, know, when he got into the quarterback's grill mm -hmm. the other night and forced the fumble. You know, I mean, and obviously helped you out with your first touchdown. Right. I mean, Joey's just being Joey. I mean, he. He gave a, gave a tackle a really good move and got in and hit the quarterback. Um, he was just doing his job. Um, and the coaches will you know, help put him in better positions to get him one-on-one -on -one matchups. And good luck with that.